education and entertainment only. We hope you get some benefit, but this is not financial advice. Now, let's go crypto. Hello, this is Manny and welcome to Let's Go Crypto. Recently, there's been a slew of activity and discussions regarding the XRP ledger on all the socials. Developers, influencers, and users alike are diving into trust lines on the XRPL. And as a result, the knowledge base of the entire XRP community is bounding forward as we approach the launch of many more projects on the XRPL. And with that, the SUM wallet, developed by XRPL Labs, is getting lots of attention. And it's no wonder. They're harnessing the technology available on the XRPL to bring us many useful features and functions. Now that the crypto community is embracing trust lines, many projects are popping up and issuing airdrops. And if you don't want to miss out on these opportunities, keep watching the video because I'm going to show you exactly how to install, activate, and use the ZUM wallet to set up your trust lines with the projects and entities of your choice. And by the time you finish watching this and try it yourself, you ought to have a good understanding of what's going on. Let's get started. First, if you haven't done so already, head over to sum.app on your browser. It's spelled out X-U-M-M dot A-P-P -P. on your browser. You want to avoid going to your phone's app store. You don't want to go through the app store because you might download a malicious app designed to fool you into thinking you're using the genuine product. So I want you to make that your habit when downloading software, especially when it comes to crypto or finance get it straight from the source. I'm going to make another video in the future detailing some of the nightmares that I've seen when these precautions are not taken. So stay tuned. The Sum Wallet is available for iPhone and Android. And if you haven't done so yet, this spot right here is one to pause because I'm going to switch to my phone now to show you the rest. Once you download and install the app, give yourself about 10 to 15 minutes to create your new account. Read over the important information. It's important that you store your secret numbers in a safe location so that they are not lost. If you lose these numbers, you will lose your funds. In the next screen, you will be given a set of secret numbers. I am censoring my numbers here for my own security but you will see digits there go ahead and write those down there's six digits per set and each time you record you write down your number hit the next key and it'll reveal the next set of numbers i can't stress this enough it's important that you write these numbers accurately you're going to be asked in the next screen to input these numbers and if you don't get them right you're going to have to come back to this screen and do it again it's a bit of a pain but it's for security now here on this screen you're going to be asked to confirm the digits you have four buttons down here at the bottom your plus and minus and your outside arrow buttons you use these you use the arrow buttons to change position and then you use the plus and minus buttons to scroll up and down the number until you input the numbers from the first set. Once you input the numbers from your first set, or I should say the last number of the digit there, uh, you hit the next button and it will take you to the next set of numbers. Just go ahead and do that all the way down until you do the last one. I'm going to skip ahead so we can get the show on the road. 
So we finish inputting the secret numbers. We've confirmed that we have the secret key and we get our address. Now our account is act is has been uh, created but has not been activated. To activate the account, you need to deposit at least 20 XRP into it. So now you take 20 XRP, you send it to yourself, you activate the account. On the next screen here, you can set your security. I go with standard if it's going to be day by day use. You can increase the security. And then in this screen, you're asked to label your account. So let's go ahead and do that. Then we get the congratulations screen. That means the account has been set up. All we have to do now is send some XRP. And as you can see on the home screen, it says the account is not activated. So let's go ahead and send 25 XRP of my hard earned XRP. So here we have the home screen of the Zum wallet. As you can see, I have a balance of 5 XRP and that's because I used 20 of the XRP to activate the account. If I ever close the, this account, which I probably will for the purpose of demonstrating it in the video, um, you get uh, 15 of those XRP back. I have 5 XRP there. Uh, if I uh, click here on the show, I can uh, hide my balance and my wallet address and uh, I can also switch between accounts on the upper right so I can manage multiple accounts and if I tap on the XRP balance I can toggle between the fiat value and back to XRP. I think I can change the currency on the settings. I'll have to take a look at a later time, but I deal with US dollars. Now if I hit the send button, it gives me the feature to send my XRP to a recipient. It's a simple interface. I just enter the amount that I wish to send. case just as an example I'll send one XRP I'll hit the send button and then I'll be asked for a recipient I can enter the name as it if it's stored in my uh, contacts list I can uh, punch in an address or copy it from my clipboard or excuse me paste it from my clipboard I can scan the QR code by tapping the black button there I can send to one of my other accounts as listed below I can also send to a, a contact already on my list. For example, if I were to tap on uh, Hiccup here, Gadget78, and hit Next, I'll be asked to confirm the transaction. And here's the summary from my Let's Go Crypto account. To hick up one XRP. I slide to send and confirm and it would send. By hitting the send button I can show my address, I can copy and paste it, I can uh, show my QR code so others can scan it, I can also copy the QR All right, code. Let's talk about these. Uh, there's also this uh, little box where I can request a specific recent. amount. That's pretty neat. Of airdrops on the XRPL. First, let's go to the XRP Ledger documentation. Let's talk a little bit about what issued currencies are. I don't want to go too deep into this, but you can uh, choose to go deeper after this video. So, what is an issued currency? 
Well, issue currencies exist in the XRP ledger, in trust lines. They're designed to be able to represent any kind of currency or asset. And we've had some programs, some projects recently trying to uh, capitalize on that situation and build projects, develop uh, systems and create values on the XRP ledger. Uh, there are some risks to this, however, if the issuer defaults or goes out of business, you can lose up to that much money because the balances you hold in the XRP ledger can no longer be exchanged for equivalent balances elsewhere. Meaning, if you have a million gas bucks on the XRP ledger and nobody else wants the gas bucks because the gas bucks company went out of business well you're SOL that being said there are some projects out there and I want to show you a great source for those projects so you can do your own research and make up your own mind as to whether or not to participate in any of these projects and airdrops. I want to introduce you if you don't know already, my Twitter pal Hiccup. Please give him a follow at Gadget78 on Twitter. He has compiled a tremendous resource of the recent airdrops of the last few weeks. If you go to his website, which is gadget78.uk, he has so graciously shared with us a spreadsheet with all the projects. How cool is that? Thank you, Hiccup. Now, out of all these trust lines, uh, you may choose to participate in one or more of them. And if you use this spreadsheet as your tool, you can go deeper into your research as he has here some links to the project pages or social media accounts so you can do some better research. There's also some comments as to the status of each project. But that, that's enough. You know the website. It's Gadget78.uk. Give it a look. Give Gadget78 a follow on Twitter. One of my favorite projects out of this list has got to be Strategy Engine. Ticker symbol FSE. And I'm going to use Strategy Engine as my example to set up a trust line right now. So if we go to the Strategy Engine website, we'll get more information and I might do a video going into more detail on that. But as of now, I'm just going to go straight into setting up the trust line. So I go to the trust line link. And it's going to take us to the Zum.community webpage. The Zum.community webpage is not affiliated with Zum Wallet, the app, but it allows you to use the XR, some of the functions of the Zum Wallet uh, in connection with a desktop environment. Now I clicked on the trust line link and it immediately sets up to set the trust line now as you can see on this screen I have this little pop-up with this information the address of the issuer of the FSE the ticker symbol and the limit on the trust set I can confirm this transaction but as you can see I am not signed in so we're going to do a couple of things. If I were to hit confirm, the first thing that I get is a QR code. 
you see where I'm going with this. We have to go back to our Zum wallet. And the way we do this is we go to our Zum wallet. We press the center icon and we press the button that says scan QR code. We scan the code on our screen. And we get a couple things. First of all, on the screen, we get a standby window waiting for me to sign the request. Now on my phone, I have the information for this trust line. All I need to do is slide to accept. It's going to cost me 0 .000012 XRP. That's nothing. We signed the transaction. Have you tried doing this on Ether? Ha! We have confirmation both on the phone and in the screen. And as you can see, the screen has now logged me in. And I have access to my account on the Zum.community website as well as my Zum wallet on my mobile phone. And as you can see on my phone, I now see FSE on the list of other tokens with a balance of zero. No worries. We have just added a trust line. And if you go to the screen on the sum.community website, you can see a list of your trust lines by clicking under trust sets and show trust lines of signed in account. If you click on it, you will get a list of your trust lines. Congratulations, you just made your trust line. Hope you got some value out of this video. I'm going to keep it, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut it short here. It's running a little long. I'll have more information in other videos. Like and subscribe if this has brought any value to you. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.